Despite not having received an invitation to the WHA, Taiwan's representative office in Geneva invited its supporters to a reception over the weekend. Guests included representatives from all 11 of Taiwan's diplomatic allies. The health minister of Tuvalu said his whole country was behind Taiwan and rallying for its bid to be part of the WHO. Also present was a Swiss lawmaker who said that Taiwan and Switzerland are both countries that value freedom and democracy and that the two countries should strengthen their relationship. World Health Assembly Taiwan's representative office in Geneva held a reception for foreign diplomats. Those who came to show support included not only representatives of Taiwan's 11 diplomatic allies, but also members of the Swiss parliament. This country which is open to the world and attached to freedom, exactly like Switzerland, holds a special place for our parliament, which has repeatedly expressed the demand to intensify relations between our two countries. Well, it's a small island. We have only 10,000 people. And the team of Taiwan, they manage to go through that 400. In a very, very, very tight uh, program they have. They stay there only for two weeks. One of my duties as a Minister of Health is to stir firm and then continue to support Taiwan to be a member of the representative from Taiwan's ally Tuvalu stressed that his whole country supported Taiwan's bid to join the WHO. He said that in terms of medical capabilities, not only is Taiwan living up to its motto, Taiwan can help, but has already been helping. While Taiwan's health minister, Xue Reiyuan, confirmed that this year Taiwan would not receive an invitation from the WHA, Taiwan is gaining more and more international allies. <laughs> It doesn't look like our chances of getting an invitation letter this year are very high. Actually, Taiwan can help many countries around the world. But we haven't been given this opportunity. The countries that respect freedom and democracy should come together to respond to the World Health Organization about this. We should gather together all the important topics of the WHA meeting, the medical and health issues, and simultaneously broadcast them via video conference in our legislative yuan so we can respond to all the things that the WHO is discussing. That's how Taiwan can respond and absorb it. A medical doctor by profession, legislator Chiu Taiyuan suggests using video conference to transmit the latest information coming out of WHA to Taiwan. After all, medicine knows no borders, and the 23 million people of Taiwan should not be left outside the gate of the international health body.